Not in Texas anymore, Tyler. How is the ice fishing in Texas anyway, Stellar? Ice fishing? Yeah. Fantastic. Best thing ever. Yeah, I love my <laughs> Tyler, are you excited to ice fish? Yes. I'm cold already, though. Are you? Yeah. Not in Texas anymore. Not in Texas anymore. Anywho, that is old Ty. Big troll, you guys ask a lot about it. Well, you don't really ask that much anymore on my channel because I address it. He doesn't. I just let him wonder. I know now. <laughs> because I try to make a video where and we, we catch can't fish catch together, shit. Yeah. And I we know. never do. So we probably won't catch much today. Don't expect much. But old Rob's out here. We've talked for a while. We've never fished before, but he used to uh, come in with the wife and buy furniture when I actually had a real job and wasn't a bum. And then we actually met three people we know in the parking lot. There's Kevin, there's Josh, and then there's Andy. So we should be able to figure something out. This lake isn't very big. It gets pretty deep. It's kind of clear. I do have an underwater camera that I might put down eventually. And yeah, we're pretty much going for everything. There's a chance of kitties. There's a chance of walleye. There's a chance of pike. And there's definitely a chance of a bunch of tiny bluegill. So hopefully we can get something big between the five of us and yeah, Tyler doesn't know what the hell he's doing with the short stick, so I'm gonna let you go. Come along with us. Let's see if we can catch something. How far does this cast? <laughs> you can't cast. Actually, you can. There's a spillway in the back here. We might hit up later. You want to come? Sure. There might be a spillway video if we can't catch well, it no, here. When I saw that spillway, I pointed out to Josh. And he almost <laughs> About <came> broke <laughs> my neck. <laughs> spillway? But yeah, anyway, do what we can do. We'll catch something big eventually. So, pow. When are you gonna get a fancy camera, Tyler? I don't need one. I get more views than you. Oh, stop. This is Rob, this is Josh, this is Andy, this is Kevin. Cool. How big is the ice right here? Thick enough. Yeah. Five or six. You want to pop a couple there? I'm oh, good, man. I like a little exercise. Really? These are even last year's blades. Well, if you change your mind in Thank a few you. hours, yeah. no, have no, at I it. Like I got multiple good. batteries. I'm over workouts after walking <laughs> yeah. in South Dakota. Alrighty. Uh, waxworm probably to start. If you want to put something bigger on, you can. But... Thank you. Alrighty, well, starting with the. Uh, Buckshot spoon. Try to get on the board. I'm gonna try a little bit deeper water eventually and see if I can't find kitties or walleyes. They're somewhat in the area. We just have to see if we can get them to bite. Bluebird skies. Hey, actually a cloud showed up. Not bluebird skies, but we got here a little bit later than we should have, I imagine. We'll do our best though. See if we can get Tyler some ice fishies and uh, see if one of us five can catch something big. I'm gonna stay away from the tiny bluegill holes as long as possible, but sounds like I can catch as many bluegills as I want if I get close to the trees. But that's what we're doing. See if we can make something of our lives. All right. Not guaranteeing this is going to be worth anything, but see if we can uh, test this thingy out. Wow. Oh, I can actually see pretty good down there. That's going to go away. That ain't bad. I don't see any kitties. I should be able to find some, though. It's clear enough. There's a bluegill! I was going to say, I can see it. Right there he is. is. Staring right at you. See if it'll actually record like it's supposed to. Yep. Look at that right there. You can see it right here on the live scope. This is the first underwater footage I've got without torturing a poor fish. <laughs> he was like right in it though, Ty. He's looking at it again. There he is. You see him? Yeah. That's awesome. Look at his little face. <laughs> Bite it. Are you going to catch him on camera? You catch him, baby. Oh, I spun it. I gotta figure out how to keep it in one place. I'm gonna go walk around with this and find a pile of kitties. <laughs> oh yeah, I got something bigger than a blue. Oh. oh, how do I keep it in one spot? Sorry, this is still like the worst underwater footage on the internet, but. It's better than the last underwater footage video. Oh, stop, Tyler. <laughs> At least I saw a fish. The first like seven minutes of this video is just gonna be stupid little bluegills looking at this camera. This thing's pretty nifty though. And it's recording that on its own. so cool. Oh, oh my was God. that a walleye? There's so many. No, it's still a bluegill. I got way too excited there. There's so many of them, eh? And they're all bluegills. Why are there so many bluegills in this place? It's ridiculous. We need to find something that you think look like kitties on the pan optics and then drop this on their head. I'm gonna stop recording because I don't know how big the memory card is on this thing. All right, so it's cool seeing fish on an underwater camera for the first time in a legitimate fashion, but uh, now we're really gonna do some searching. I'm gonna check out this big tree, even though it looks like there's just tiny bluegills around here too. And then we're gonna go out deeper in the channel, try to find the edge where it drops from like 18 to 20 and see if we can't find some kitties or some walleyes using the uh, panty optics or the underwater camera and then on top of that see if we can get them to bite we still got to get them to bite for some reason i almost think finding them is going to be easier than catching them could be wrong though i got a bigger mark up high you didn't go? no but he's different mm -hmm. i thought so got him oh that was big that wasn't a bluegill that was not a fucking bluegill i hope he's still there that had to be a kitty or a walleye. Damn it. We found something though. Dude, that was big. Whatever I just hooked. I 
this was at least a two foot fish. Son of a biscuit. All right, now we're fishing. First fish I've hooked was big. <laughs> you still haven't even got on the board yet? I haven't caught a bluegill yet. Kind of been on purpose. We found the spot, boys and girls. Oh my God, there's so many fish in this. Do you see them? Yeah, there's a big suspended one. Oh my gosh. Where can I... Anywhere. Even though we haven't caught anything, this is why you take the time to search. I wish I had a minnow head on. I'm probably going to switch because he's getting less and less interested. He just swam off, dude, but that was a huge mark. Now we just got to catch one. I can't believe I got one to bite and screwed it up. I'm sorry, guys. What a failure. <laughs> this one I didn't even get a shot at. I hooked that one briefly. That was a pretty good second. Dead weight. I think we're almost just going to have to wait here all day. Out for me, buddy. He's got something big. It's not big. Well, it's not a bluegill. But it's not a bluegill. That's what I mean. Are you sure it's not big? I don't know what I'm doing, Josh. Uh, you're doing fine, but it's bigger than you think it is. <laughs> it's off. Is it? Tighten that drag about two it's notches. Off. A minnow? A Whole minnow, minnow and a jigging wrap. Well, he's used to catching tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't in Florida or wherever the hell he's from anymore. No, bluegills. If those were like nine inch bluegills or even eight inch bluegills, I would have wanted to catch a couple, but from what I saw, I want nothing to do with those <laughs> That's ice fishing in Nebraska in a nutshell is those bluegills. Marking a lot, marking a lot of big fish, but need to make some adjustments because we're not catching them. Yeah, I had one looking at it. Second I grabbed it, he left. And they gone. Oh, that was not a catfish. That thing came flying after it. You got bite? Yeah. 16 foot. Got him. This will be my first fish of the day if I can manage to land it. That was a different kind of bite though. I'm thinking it's a walleye. It is a walleye. Called it. <clears throat> It's a walleye! I called that shit just by the way he flew up. I think there's another one down there too. All right, I've been on the struggle bus. Everyone's been catching decent fish though and we finally, uh, finally are getting some bites. It's my first fish of the day and I've been here for about, I don't know, give or take six hours. Nobody's counting. <laughs> I haven't quite been doing it, but it's been entertaining to say the least. Everyone's been getting big marks and everyone but me has been catching them really. I guess old Josh Workman over there, he hasn't caught shit either, so that makes me feel better, but things are looking up, I guess. He hit it twice, but I could instantly tell that that was not a slow moving catfish like the rest of the marks I've had, so. Luckily I got a second chance, otherwise I would have hated myself for at least another five minutes. Or longer, honestly. I've been kind of struggling. Yeah, we'll keep it going. Old prime time's coming eventually. <clears throat> Might have lost my minnow on that one. That's bigger. Ooh, that's a big... That might be a walleye, and it's big. That's a big... Oh. What is... is it a walleye or a channel? It was definitely acting like a walleye. The walleye it's big i think it's a channel though but i hope not it hit it like a walleye i was jigging it hard as shit and he came racing you had him right here he pulled a lot of line uh, is it yeah. damn oh, kitty big, big, uh, yeah that ain't bad i got kittied nice kitty though Where's my bait? Gone. Dude, that thing slacklined it. That ain't hooked in the lip. That's hooked in like his butthole. Meow! There it is. Nice. Nice camera. Is my spoon down its butthole? <laughs> Do you see it? Where'd it go? It's in there. Oh, it's gone. not as far as I thought. It is gone though. He had a couple hooks. <laughs> I think they're turning on, bud. Right about the time I gotta go. I'll call in sick for you. <laughs> you call to day. life. <laughs> call daycare and tell them I'm sick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, you can't really skip out on that. I thought that was a walleye. I was like ripping it, and it just. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely turning on. All right. Well, I've been struggling like uh, 
all day. Everybody else has been doing pretty good. Good job to them. But uh, I've caught my first two fish of the day, six hours in, about five minutes apart. This one was acting like the walleye. I was really hoping it was a bigger walleye like uh, lives here, but I like catfish. Catfish are neat and stuff. So I will definitely, definitely take a catfish, especially how today's gone. But sun's going down. I think uh could get pretty good. Sorry you have to leave. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. I'll catch a couple <laughs> for you. You've done pretty good today, though, too. It's been a good time. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, we're getting it back. Hopefully, primetime magic hour and stuff is happening. Let's see if we can see it swimming down. The water clarity is pretty good. And maybe I should get the underwater camera out again. I'm not sure if I showed that footage, but all I saw was little tiny bluegills before. Thanks, bud. Yep. I caught fish. I would have put at least $4 on the fact that that was a walleye, maybe. Well, I caught a walleye right before and it acted the same. It like, it wasn't like moseying around sluggish at all. It, it slacklined the song, bitch. All right, well, I switched lures 97 times, but went back to the rattle spoon that I was getting bit on earlier and took out two fish. Tipped with a minnow, obviously. I don't think catfish are gonna bite a spoon by itself. I'm sure it's happened to some people, but majority of the time, that's not really how it works. They want scent, they want smells. They want something to touch their whiskers that makes them happy. And a uh, piece of metal isn't exactly what they're looking for, so. Kind of chasing the schools slash waiting a little bit. I don't think my camera was on, but Tyler over here redeemed himself. He's eating chips now, but he caught one, or did you catch two? One. one. He did catch one, so that was good. How many have you hooked? Uh, well, I hooked, that, I hooked that one right off the bat. Other than that, there's been a lot of swings and misses, and then I caught two, so I'm, I'm two for three. What are you? Two for three? Yeah, I haven't, I mean, I haven't hooked any. Oh, so you still missed them. They missed it. That wasn't my fault. Be like one for six. You're probably about one for six, but who's counting? Anyway, let's see if we can't do something here. I think it's gonna get pretty good. This is a good minnow container. I sadly didn't bring any regular tip up, so I'm just gonna take two chubs. I'm gonna test the jaw jacker with them, but I don't know if it'll work. I'm thinking as the night goes, maybe a bigger profile minnow head like a chubs might be not bad. Here, Ty, I got lunch. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Open that back up, please. I mean, it doesn't close. At this point, I'm hoping we can get a giant walleye or a giant kitty. <laughs> No, it's not like Texas fishing, Tyler. It's not even close. We have to do this shit. Against your will. At one point it was against my will. Now I do it by choice, but it'd be nice if it was 70 right now. Yeah, 70 without dying. Yeah, I was marking a shitload in that one. I don't think I caught a single fish out of it though. I don't know what they are. They gotta be catfish, dude. I mean, they're big ones. Yeah, they ain't bluegill. Yeah, I got one that's just like literally sitting on mine. That rod is gone. Yeah, it is. He kind of hooked himself. I didn't even have it that far down. It was like three feet below the surface. What uh, do you have on there for food? Just a minnow. I didn't even set up the jaw jacker though. It was just dangling there. I didn't even tighten my reel handle yet. Yeah. Ain't a bad one though, but you're good. Try to catch one. I don't. He'll come up when he wants to. Yeah. I literally didn't even drop this down. Right in the corner. Didn't even need to set the jaw jacker. He just hammered it. Well, there's bigger ones in here. And there's definitely bigger walleyes, so. I'm gonna keep going. This is an all day adventure with Tyler. I'm not sure how much I've left in the uh, video, but it's been pretty slow really so far. We've had no problem marking fish. I probably already said this the last time I caught a fish, but. Yep, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna set up both jaw jackers now and then I'm probably gonna move back over this way even though over here where Ty has been pretty fire. They just aren't bitey. Camera's off, but I got another walleye. I'd almost bet money. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> nice. Walleyes are a little faster than catfish, aren't they? Same thing, I was trying to reel out of my hole and it hit it like eight feet off the bottom, but it went from the bottom to eight feet up in like half a second. That's the fish I've been fishing for for 45 minutes. Well, sorry I missed the hook set, but another walleye. A little bit bigger, maybe. Yeah, it's about the same size. Yeah, the other one is about that big. He looks delicious. Should I keep him? What do you think, Tyler? I would. You wouldn't? Tyler's such a better sportsman than me, I should probably listen. That thing hit it so hard. Like, if you can find the walleye, you're gonna get fish. Yeah, but he wanted it aggressive, man. He wasn't coming off this century. All right, well. Sun's going down. Missed the hook set. Not a giant, but it is a walleye. 
in Nebraska. I'll let him eat his minnow. I won't eat him either, even though he looks delicious and he's probably over 15, but we'll let him go. Maybe we'll come back and harvest a couple one of these days. But I'd pretty much given up on the hole, so I turned my camera off and was reeling up as fast as I could, and he uh, murdered it. So that's a good sign. Hopefully someone can hook up with something bigger, or a bigger walleye to be specific. Ty, are you gonna catch a bigger walleye? I was just reeling it up as fast as I could, man, and he hit it. I saw a mark up high, and I was reeling up to the other mark, and oh, he came he scorching came off, the off the bottom. He came off the bottom. He swam up eight feet in like a second. But yeah, plan now is to jig uh, more aggressively. The catfish definitely don't want it aggressive, but it seems like the catfish all are kind of the same size, so I'm gonna concentrate on walleye. If a kitty wants to swim by and pick it up, then so be it, but I'm gonna start jigging pretty hard and see if I can't get another one. I'm also gonna try to do a better job of leaving my camera on. Kind of failed that one. Anyway, that's what we're doing. You having fun, Tyler? Blast. I'm blast, he says. I would just start acting like every mark's a walleye. Rip it harder and shit. Sorry, this is kind of an abrupt ending. It's been kind of uneventful, but getting it down that hill was much easier than getting it up. All right, well, I only caught four fish today, but I didn't catch any bluegill, and that was kind of the goal. I ended up catching a couple bluegill, got one catfish, missed a few. We all missed a few, actually, and we all marked a lot that wouldn't bite. But honestly, that was probably more big fish marks than I've ever seen in my life ice fishing. Definitely in Nebraska, but probably ever ice fishing. How was it, Texan? Are you cold? One to ten? I'm cold. Seven. Seven. Eight. It was maybe worse at one point, though. It was. You want to change but your channel into an ice fishing channel? No, this is reminding me why I don't ice fish. <laughs> so I haven't been ice fishing in like seven or eight years. Come on, look at that. But it was good. The, the Vexilla lighting up like a Christmas tree is why you ice fish. Yeah. And that's always a blast. Yeah. There's literally more marks, more big marks than I've ever seen. I'm going to come back and I'm going to probably put the underwater camera down some more. I tried a couple times, but uh, I'm not very smart and it's kind of hard to figure out. So I'm going to have to do some tinkering with that and then maybe get some more underwater footage. We did see a bluegill though. And it was pretty crisp and clean and clear. The footage is going to look pretty good. So, alrighty, be sure to uh, subscribe to Tyler's channel. We don't get a fish much because he's a trader and he moved from Nebraska to Texas, but well, you can, can you really come blame to him? Texas anytime. I know. And you can catch almost guaranteed <laughs> i do okay for here but texas is texas so i'll give josh credit making a youtube channel work in nebraska i don't know if i could do it but he does it somehow somehow because he's kind of funny and oh. makes bad jokes in lieu of fish this time. <laughs> a lot of stupidity involved i appreciate you for it but anyway if you like this video actually first subscribe to his channel if you like texas and bigger fish than i catch and then uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe definitely appreciate you all very much we have to drive home about three hours in the dark, so I'm gonna let you go. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, bye.